We'll uh, jump down. We'll get Ryakov. And what the heck is he doing? Yo, he's moving in the net. That's got to be lag. Definitely, that has to be lag. What's up everyone, it's Carlos here. Alright, so we are back playing some multiplayer in Aliens vs Predator 2 back from 2001 on the PC. Alright, so uh, once again we are playing on Outpost map, which is a uh, pretty decent size. Uh, this server actually has all weapons enabled, so you can use everything right away as soon as you spawn. Which is a good thing and also, I guess maybe a bad thing depending how you look at it. Uh, there's also exosuits enabled. Uh, I'm not sure about the queen molting. I don't know if uh, the aliens can molt into a queen after a kill streak. Um, so I guess we'll see. But uh, anyways, uh, this dude is in the exosuit. Let me try to stun him. Oh, I guess he took a lot of damage, so he was done. This dude, he's jumping around. Whoa, I still got him. How the heck did I manage that? That's not easy to do. I got pretty much, what, no health? Even a pistol shot would take me down. Look at this. I want that one. Oh wow, it was a headshot too. Oh damn, nice. Okay. That must have been what, a grenade blast? Yeah. Alright, so let's see if we can find somebody. Uh, oh, there's uh, Rykov. Let's get him with the uh, net. Switch over to spear gun and we'll pop the head. Wow, check it out. In slow motion, dude. I actually got the head while he was in a net. And let's see. And there we go. Got it. Wow, that's pretty cool. Yeah, that's not so easy to do because when they're caught inside the net, the head seems to be aligned in a very weird angle. Like, it's kind of strange. Or maybe it's like the hitbox. Yeah, I think it's a hitbox issue also. Whoa, damn, I just blew up. <laughs> yeah, well then of course I am using the faster light predator that has, what, so little health. Yeah, he dies extremely quickly. Uh, what I make up in speed, I lack in uh, health pretty much, I'd say. But uh, when it comes to uh, these kind of, you know, small maps, I prefer to have a bit more speed compared to health. I do prefer the Heavy Predator class in this game's multiplayer, and I've used it a couple of times, but it is very difficult to use because its running speed is equivalent to walking. It is so hard to catch a human. But uh, anyways, yeah, I guess we'll stick to the Light Predator. I don't even use the Assault Predator, yeah. Even when they have class weapons on, I just don't favor the weapon loadout on the Assault Predator. It has wrist blades, the pistol, shoulder cannon, and also the uh, remote bombs. Which, they're not that great. Yeah, they're really not that good. Anyways, let's have a look over here. Uh, there was someone behind me, and I saw something over on this side. Let's have a look. Ah, it's a jumping exosuit. You see what I mean? It has no cooldown on that crouch jump. And Wow, that was a bad idea. I should have just stayed back and just like pelted the pistol shots at it while it was stunned. That's what I should have done. Oh, there we go. Got it. Nice. There's also an alien down there somewhere. Let's see. Yeah, let's try to keep moving. Keep moving. Oh, someone took it down. Nice job. There's a sniper class there, but even though he has access to all weapons, we'll just chuck the disc. Uh, I normally turn my invisibility off before I throw the disc. Then I can quickly uh, turn invisible after I throw it. Because uh, in this game, when you use certain weapons while invisible, you're forced to a state of, uh, I guess, a lockdown to where you cannot turn invisible again. So that's why with some weapons, especially the smart disc, I'll disable my invisibility, I'll throw the smart disc, and then turn invisible again. So let's see, there's two dudes here. They're on different factions. There's a uh, Marine and also a Corporate. Let's try to get the Marine the Sniper. Got you. Switch to the uh, combi stick or the spear. Got him. I'm getting... Oh wow, I got massacred in the back by the alien. Alright, we uh, respawn inside this building. Oh, there's something. Oh, there's a Marine. Let's wait around the corner for a second. Whoa, I saw something flying. Alright, netted you. Then we'll stun you. Got you. Switch to the spear. Jump up and then slam. Got him. Nice. Oh, that is so good. Look at that. Super jump into a vertical slice with the spear. That is satisfying. I love it. All right, so let's continue upwards. And whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, I saw the spider mines. I just saw it, but it was way too late. I triggered them, yeah, from a close proximity. Uh, at least it looks like the spider mines because they were moving afterwards. I'll try to get this alien. I don't know. Did I get that kill? I, I don't think so. But at least I'm trying to do uh, melee when I stun him. Uh, there are some situations where if there's too many people, I'll just like sit back, 
stun them and then finish them off with a spear gun or something else from long range. Uh, let's see, there's two marine classes. There's one down. I think they're both down. Yeah, I'm getting... Oh, damn, it was an alien from behind. Nice one. All right. Oh, there's uh, flying aliens. And he took off. That's fine. Oh, there's a human over here. Only uh, shoot the net ahead of his movement. There we go. Got him. Good stuff. Yeah, when it comes to these uh, kinds of matches, I tend to move a lot more, especially with the light predator, and use uh, a lot of the uh, cover that's available in the uh, map here. Well, there's an alien, and can I turn and? Wow, I must have got his arm with the spear gun or something. That's fine. And I saw someone inside that hallway, but we'll check over here. And there's one down there going in. This guy has a minigun. He's shooting all over the walls while he's netted. Nice, okay. <laughs> this dude, got him. Yes, if you remain completely still, you are invisible. Completely invisible, I'm telling you. There's no like blur effect, no shimmer, there's nothing. But it takes like a second uh, to kind of kick in. You also remain invisible from the motion tracker because you are no longer moving. Flying aliens, god. Silly idea, flying aliens. I prefer the, um, I guess, the, the focus attack in uh, AVP3 from 2010. That has a kind of lock-on system where you actually have to target an individual and then it leaps forward and does an attack that causes a, uh, a knockdown or even a, a flinching effect depending which version you're playing on, you know, whatever platform. I think what they should have done with the pounce attack is make it so it causes a knockdown, which is a bit more realistic in some way. Um, and when it comes to the Predator's uh, pistol weapon, the secondary fire, you know, the three round burst that stuns the exosuit, Predators and aliens, what that should have done is done extremely low damage, have no stun, but possibly just make the enemy move a little bit slower. But also its main purpose should have been used to shut down the opponent's technology, like their vision modes, invisibility, and also the human's motion tracker. And on aliens, it would just slow down their mobility or prevent them from maybe crouch jumping or doing the pounce, you know, something. Just not doing the basic stun effect is what I'm saying. And uh, I think the same thing should have been applied to the exosuit in terms of balance, you know, I think uh, EMP rounds and the Predator pistols secondary fire should have just like slowed it down in a way. There's a lot of things in this game that really bug me when it comes to balance, but I mean it's so old. But one thing that I never understood is why did they make the plasma caster shot have the ability to turn 30 degrees in mid-air? Watch this, the shot will turn in mid-air towards its target. And maybe they did that because the shot itself is not a one-hit kill. You have to fully charge the shot and get two blasts on the opponent and rely on the blast radius, not the direct shot. So normally, you have to use the plasma caster shot from the high ground where you're on top and the opponent is downward or from a crouch jump. Let me pull out the uh, smart bombs. Uh, so these things travel very slow in mid-air. They stick to a surface and then only explode when you push the secondary fire. So you have to manually detonate the explosion anytime. But uh, yeah, getting a direct blast on their feet or on their body is very rare. So it's, yeah, I never liked the smart bombs in this game. Oh, by the way, the smart disc in this game does have the ability to also turn 30 degrees in mid-air towards its target after it's locked on, but it's easily dodged by just strafing sideways and jumping at the correct time. That is very different from classic AVP, uh, you know, the game from 1999, and it was brought to Steam, I think, in 2000 or something. Well, on Steam, it's called Classic AVP 2000. So the smart disc in that game is overpowered, for sure, because you can barely see it coming towards you, and when it turns, that thing turns, I think, maybe 90 degrees or possibly 180 degrees to get you, and it turns around corners sometimes. It's very overpowered in that classic game. But uh, in AVP2, it's very slow, makes a lot of noise, and also leaves a red trail behind it. So, anyways, whoa! Oh, someone just peeked around uh, behind the corner and blasted me with a... Uh, Pulse rifle grenade, I think. Yeah, that was quick. And there's an exosuit. 
Uh, oh, it must have had uh, low health. Nice. Oh, there's an alien. Oh, nice. Wow. Okay, <laughs> I got blasted in the back by the uh, sniper. Yeah, that railgun. One shot kill. Anyways, man. All right, so let's continue here. Let's uh, make a right. There's one over here. This dude, I think he has a shotgun or was that a pulse rifle? I couldn't tell. There's an alien. Yeah, I just saw the body fly behind me. Uh, we'll jump over here. There's this dude. Wow, yeah, those pulse rifle grenades, they travel very fast and are very accurate. So they got no reason to complain about the energy pistol, which is weaker. It does have a faster rate of fire, but it also travels slower in midair. I guess in a way, you got to look at every weapon individually. I mean, the pulse rifle grenades travel fast. They're accurate. So you have a higher chance of getting your target with a blast radius. Whereas the energy pistol with the Predator, it travels slower. It's not as high damaging, but it has a slightly higher rate of fire. So you can't expect all these weapons to have the same attributes. But I mean, I guess some are more annoying than others, depending on the situation. But heck, that's multiplayer for you. Anyways, uh, I got a oh, while wow, stunned, I guess. Yeah, I'm done. All right. So we are at the top of this uh, facility. We'll uh, jump down, we'll get Ryakov, and what the heck is he doing? Yo, he's moving in the net. That's got to be lag. Definitely, that has to be lag. That was weird. So this video has been long enough for now, and I think I'll end it here. So uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.